How are you? Great too. Are you okay? So our last lesson it was about the balls. Okay. We had this lesson. Yeah, it was the last lesson. But we have just one digit number. One digit number. Okay. For example, let's refresh our mind with the last lesson. So when I see double four, double four equal, 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 yes, eight, okay? How is that? We say four plus four equal eight, okay? Again, double two, double two equal four, which means two plus two equal Four. Okay. Double five. Double five equal ten. How is that? That means five plus five. Those are, if you see here, those are one digit number. Okay. What we are going to do when we have two digit number? What do I mean by two digit number? Let us see here. 13, right? When I think 13, that means in the ones place we have 3, in the tens place we have 1. Those are two digit numbers. You see? Two numbers. Ones, tens. Okay, I would like to double 13. What should I do? There is a steps I should follow to get the double. Okay? 13, the first is the here, so you have to write the tens and the ones. They split the tens into the square and the ones in the square. Okay, here we have 10 and here we have 3. What I did? So I put the tens here and the ones here. Follow me step by step, okay? This is the first step. Step 2. We are going to double these numbers. We are going to double the ones here, and we are going to double the tens here. So double three equal yes, yes. Double three equal six. That means three plus three equal six. So what about the ten? Ten plus ten equal 20. Here we have 20. Here we have 6. The last step, we will say 20 plus 6 equal 26. That means what? That means double 13 equal 26. Okay? So, let us go ahead for another example. Here we have 14. Now the steps are clear, right? Let us go step by step. Step 1. What we should do? Yes, we have to write the ones and the tens. Here we have 4. Here we have 10. So step 2. What we are going to do? Look here. Step 2. We are going to double the ones and we are going to double the tens. Okay, double four equal eight. Double ten here equal twenty. So the last step is twenty plus eight. Twenty plus eight. Twenty plus eight equal twenty-eight. Okay. That means what? That means double 14 equal 28. Is it clear? So, what will happen if we had here 17? I would like to double 17. So, what should I do? The first step. Here we have 10, here we have 7, right? That is great. Okay, so let us come to the wall here. 
the seven. We would like to double seven. Double seven equal fourteen. And double ten equal twenty. Okay? So the point is here, you have to be careful. Look at this number. It is not like eight or six. Right? Here we have two digit number. So what we should do? Here we have ten. Okay? We are going to take this ten. Put it down. You see? And here we have 20. That means here we have 20 plus 10. From where I get this 10? From this one. You see, because this one is 14. 14 means 10 plus 4. Okay? That means what? 20 plus 10 equal 30. And here we have Four. That means thirty-four. Double seventeen equal thirty-four. Is it okay? Is it clear? So when you go to your math book, page fifteen. Math book, page fifteen. Here the same example. Just I wrote it for you, okay? What I wanted from you, here you have a line. So, what I wanted from you, double 5 equal 10, right? Double 10 equal 20. What about double 15? Okay, try to work it. I'll write the answer here. Double 20, double 25, and so on. Okay, that is all for the third lesson in unit 3. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.